from 1976, The Tomb of Dracula, number 44, and Doctor Strange, number 14, featuring the first meeting of the Lord of the Vampires and the Master of the Mystic Arts. The plot of this story involves the fate of Doctor Strange's assistant Wong, who has been bitten by the dreaded Count Dracula. Doctor Strange is in a race against time, and he's putting everything on the line, including his own life. This two-part adventure, written by Marv Wolfman and Steve Englehart, showcases the strengths, the weaknesses, and the sheer will of power of both the Sorcerer and the Dark Prince. The artwork for both issues is by Gene Colan and Tom Palmer. Gene Colan has a penciling style that borders between Gothic and Noir. Tom Palmer's inks are refined with flowing contours. Here, he enhances the pencils of Gene Colan, but he does not obscure Colan's signature ambience and silhouette. Both of these books are reflective of popular culture at that time. For almost 20 years, Hammer Films had entertained us with vampire tales on the big screen. Also, the public in general was enamored with the tales of mysticism and the paranormal. During this time frame in 1976, Arthur Anne Rice also produced perhaps the greatest and most popular of modern vampire tales in Interview with a Vampire. Those pop culture elements were symbiotic with comic book lore and definitely evident in the pages of both The Tomb of Dracula and Doctor Strange. I recommend both series as an addition to your comic book collection.